Welcome to Drawfee, where we take your dumb ideas and make even dumber drawings. I'm Julia. I'm Karina. I'm Nathan. And I'm Jacob. Aesthetics. We all who have needs them. them. <laughs> wow, simultaneous. We all have them and who needs them? They're just like us. We've reached yeah. the pinnacle. <laughs> We've done it. <laughs> But everyone's got their own aesthetic. Even if you think you don't, it's just like an art style. You're born with it. You die with it. You can't, yeah. you can't escape the Immutable, aesthetic. Immutable, unchanging, <laughs> forever Catch part me of on you. on my deathbed with my aesthetic <laughs> strong. <laughs> Bury me with my aesthetic. <laughs> but there's so many out there, and there's so many unique ones. So we thought we would draw ones generated from the aesthetics generator. Ooh. Yeah. Hell yeah. It's an online generator. You click the button and it says a funny thing. <laughs> and we're going to do the drawing starting with our good friend Nathan. I know about fashion. Sweaty. Sweaty. <laughs> I am sweaty when I think about fashion. You're about yeah. to know even more as I tell you what your aesthetic is. Okay. And also, you have to dress like this from now on. Yeah. That is your burden. <laughs> Nathan, mm -hmm. your aesthetic is Honey Dad. Aw, <laughs> Honey Dad. Honey Dad. What would it look like if someone had a Honey Dad aesthetic? <laughs> oh, see, that phrasing turned it for me. Because originally uh -huh. I was picturing like Winnie the Pooh what grew up. Yeah, <laughs> and had a I, family. <laughs> I'm sort of imagining a Winnie the Pooh as well. So maybe sort of a it's Winnie not the what Pooh. I was Shape. <laughs> <laughs> I was imagining a sticky daddy. Okay. Well, we're well because it's like a sugar daddy. Yeah. Right. But, this, but honey. But it's a honey dad. Honey is more natural. Yeah. <laughs> honey comes from. Honey dad doesn't believe in money. <laughs> <laughs> honey comes from. He pays you in essential oils. <laughs> <laughs> it comes from flowers. Yeah. Yes. So I think there's going to be flowers in this aesthetic. Well, it comes from bees. <laughs> yeah. It doesn't come so from So there's going to be bees. <laughs> the bees get the nectar from the flowers. You milk and they the make... flowers and the honey comes out like a cow. <laughs> <laughs> you have to milk the flowers. They're little flower udders ripe for the milking. <laughs> right. Flutters. So I think... <laughs> Sort of a Winnie the Pooh style. Ha, I think we, we want to show midriff. <laughs> we want to show midriff here. Uh huh. But you did mention bees, so I think stripes. I think stripe. Oh. Just out of prison. <laughs> I don't think it's prison stripes. I think oh. it's bumblebee stripes. Sort of like, I see. Sort of like <laughs> yellow no. and, and black. <laughs> Father, no. <laughs> Just like Heathcliff's he dad. He got into the honey business. You know what I'm saying? No. I don't what do you say? I don't know either, man. It's like a crime drama about honey. <laughs> the honey business. Coming to A and E. Yeah. Honey dad. Honey dad. More like the new Breaking Bad. <laughs> <laughs> More like A and B because it's it's a yes B. Oh God. <laughs> Nathan, this is why you you're not in the honey business. You don't have what it takes. I don't. I'm not. I don't have what it takes to be a dad uh, or a honey dad. No kind of. But dad. I do have to dress like this. We've established. <laughs> so. Yes. Unfortunately. If it's a Winnie the Pooh kind of aesthetic, that's a very bold look. Right. Crop the, top and nothing. And the no, <laughs> the no else. pants. I I mean, again, maybe the dad is Winnie the Pooh gets pants. Maybe that's what makes it dad. That's when you know. We all grow up and just put some on age, our pants. Yeah, we have to put on our pants. <laughs> They're shorts that are like out of fashion, too short. Like my dad. My dad wears like the too, shorts too in shorts the 80s. Back in fashion, though. Yeah. Mm. Short shorts are the hot shorts now. Yeah. My dad's back in style. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Good if job, you wait Papa Long Lopetit. enough, it will come back around for you. The style. The style. So we think short shorts? Yeah. Gotta. Like the kind that are like all basically jean underwear. Yeah, shorter. Yeah, they, they're, they're, okay, let's get the butt in. Yeah, get the butt in. Honey yeah. Dad. Honey Dad had a Got a little bit of that thick, sweet goodness. Yeah, he's got that honeycomb. Got that honeycomb. 
I don't know what this pose is. I always <laughs> said he's cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs, but that's completely unrelated. He is cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs. That's he's, separate. He's cuckoo for low cholesterol. <laughs> <laughs> he's cuckoo for loco Puffs. God. I can't think of honey without thinking of, is it a vine? A vine or a TikTok where the guy takes a bite of honeycomb and he's just like, mm, honey. <laughs> I don't know that. I'm one. just thinking of that one of Jason <laughs> Derulo <laughs> having a bite of a honeycomb. Oh yeah, Jason Derulo was so happy to be eating that honeycomb. But did he say mm, honey? <laughs> no, so he said honey. milk. <laughs> <laughs> and they were like, "No, Jason, it's not milk. That's not milk, sir. <laughs> milk. It's <laughs> all he can say." <laughs> Comment down below if you know. Mm, so honey. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what fashion is. This he's wearing uh, socks and sandals. Anything's fashion if you're confident in it, and this dad looks confident. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> he's going. He's going. This is me. You know Stepping what? out. This is me. This is it. <laughs> Flaunting it. Nathan, to me, this looks like right now if Willie Muse suddenly grew in size unexpectedly. <laughs> this is something I've seen Willie wear. Yeah. Friend of the show, past and, and future guest, Willie Muse. I do think a little flower necklace. Aw. That's cute. That's cute, honey dad. Flower crown over your neck. You could also have a flower crown. I'm not ruling anything out. Dad, to me, always have mustache. Yeah, that's the shorthand <laughs> for dad. <laughs> I like this face. Yes. It's more of like a quiet confidence. Like, I'm just doing what I like, and I hope you enjoy it too. Are you coming home for the holidays? <laughs> <laughs> I understand if you're still not comfortable with travel, but uh, we'd sure love to see you. <laughs> We're all Aww. vaccinated here. Uh-huh. <laughs> Come on back to the hive, little buddy. Oh, we love you, honey, dad. We love, we love the honey, dad. Your mom's being a a real uh, queen bee and getting uh, getting your room all ready for you. <laughs> She's being. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the flower crown. Flower crown. Such a natural, beautiful dad. Yeah. The only regret I have about making the shirt so high up is you you don't get the classic shirt tucked into pants look that a lot of dads have well, but i guess trying a new look. that's that's his thing that's though. what that, yeah that's what yeah. makes him a honey dad that's what yeah. makes it honey dad and yeah. not just and not just dad it does yeah. look like he's hula hooping without the hula hoop he could be hula hooping <laughs> honey dads love to hula hoop yeah yeah the hula hoop is part of it <laughs> it's part of the look <laughs> yeah it's what i do for calisthenics every morning <laughs> Got to work on my honey dad bod. And the hula hoop perfectly <laughs> covers the belly button. His modesty. Wow. If dads are tucking in their shirts because they don't want their shirts going down too far, then crop top is like the natural evolution. Yeah, of the it, sol- it solves yeah. The, the issue. Yeah, because it's definitely not going to go down too far now. Maybe like some more hula hoops. Yes. Oh, oh, damn. Honey dad's into like the like fire spinning. What's it called when you go out and you spin the fire? Fire spinning. Fires. It's definitely not no called idea. that. Fire. Fire you know dancing? what I'm talking about. Fire. Fire fighting. Fire festival. Fire festival. <laughs> <laughs> he was there and he made the most of it. He's like, I thought it was a great time. He he kept everyone else's spirits up in an otherwise garbage situation. Oh, yeah, thanks, if it, honey. If dad. it hadn't been for he's honey, a, dad, he's a real sweet. Could have gone way worse. Yeah. Jacob, I want you to know that Google says fire dancing is known by some names such as fire spinning. Then I was right all along. <laughs> Let the record show. I know about fire spinning. Yeah, he lit that out at fire festival. I'm sorry and about- Everyone was like, okay, this isn't too bad. This isn't too bad. And then they gave him all his money and he donated it to all those workers who got screwed over by the rich people at fire festival. Damn, honey dad. Honey dad's pretty good. Actually, he's honey just a dad's big sweetie. a beautiful example for us all. Like honey, like honey, so honey, so honey. <laughs> what I love about honey dad 
is that Honey Dad is always willing to to try something new and to put himself out there, even at his dadly age. Yeah. Yeah. It's a I, renaissance man. Yeah. Yeah. That's beautiful, I think. Honey Dad is beautiful. Honey Dad is vivacious. Honey Dad is the future. <laughs> <laughs> it's just Happy waiting. Father's Day to Honey Dad. <laughs> waiting to see where you went with that. <laughs> <laughs> protect the bees so we can protect Honey Dad. Yeah. Honey so we can Dad keep having Honey too. Dads. If the bees die, Honey Dad dies. Just get some bees. Just get, get some bees in there. Just get some bees in this drawing. There is friends. Honey Dad is friends of the bees. I know it's an aesthetic, but this is a character named Honey Dad. I've decided, <laughs> and the, the aesthetic is based off yeah. of people trying to emulate this yeah. one. This one guy. I feel like you know, there's queen bees in every hive, but like once every millennia, instead of a queen bee, a Honey Dad is born. <laughs> And that's the honey dad for <laughs> and that he's generation. Human. <laughs> yeah. Well, he's the ambassador of the bees. Now I'm just imagining one of those like one of those bee TikToks where they show up to the hive and they're like, I had to rescue some bees from this person's backyard. Tried to look for the honey queen, couldn't find the honey couldn't, queen. Couldn't find this honey queen. <laughs> did find a honey dad. Do they do they call them the honey queen? I was no. For the honey mom. <laughs> the honey mommy. <laughs> honey grandmama, where are you? <laughs> but instead they found what is essentially the avatar of the bees. <laughs> he has the power of every type of bee. Yeah, the worker, the soldier, the queen, <laughs> the tinker, the tailor, He's master. Spy. the soldier and the spy. <laughs> You think that the bees would find the hula hoop threatening, but they, no. they find it mesmerizing. It reminds them of how, because bees communicate through dance, and so do Honey Dad. <laughs> this is Honey Dad. Yeah, it is. Uh -huh. oh. <laughs> Nathan, I love him. Yeah. Excited to see you wear this outfit. Yep. Yeah. Forever. Forever. Yeah, if someone wants Always to get me hoop. this shirt and these pants. <laughs> And these hula hoops. Then I'll I have no them. choice but to wear it. Yeah. <laughs> That's how that works. That's how that works. Okay. I am up next. Goodbye, honey dad. Goodbye, honey dad. Hello, whatever mine is. <laughs> My new aesthetic. <laughs> Julia, will you give me an aesthetic, please? Yes, Jacob. I have rolled and the generator has said that your aesthetic is ocean bad guy. <gasps> Ocean bad guy. A Ooh. villain of the seas. Okay. Okay. There's a lot to consider here. I can tell you what I'm thinking right off the bat. That evokes to me those old timey like uh, like Johnny Quest villains that are just like a guy in a scuba suit <laughs> like a, just like a, a an ocean henchman almost Isn't he's littering like a, under the ocean wasn't that a scooby doo just like a probably yeah a scooby doo a johnny quest Scoob, a scuba dive scuba doo a scuba, a scuba dive scuba, scuba doo, scuba doo. <laughs> okay i do actually like the idea that it's just like some asshole guy <laughs> some asshole scuba man just like a scuba man with a gun yeah, <laughs> you know, you don't want to run into this guy in, yeah. the, in the ocean. You're out in the ocean. And I mean, again, this is just what I thought of. But there's there's plenty of other ocean villains. You know, there's pirates and it looked like you were drawing some sort of a sea creature shape. Ooh. Yeah, I've been thinking about like a shark, but I think I want to I like the idea of like a scuba, a scuba jerk. Uh, aqua <laughs> like bad. a soda jerk. Aqua bad. <laughs> Like the aqua bats. Aqu aqua bad. bad. <laughs> the evil aqua bats. <laughs> so this, yeah, this guy is just sort of in the ocean and he's gonna cause you grief. <laughs> he never leaves the ocean. <laughs> Again, like a shark. They're scary, but if you just don't go to where yeah. they are, you're fine. Stay on land. There's nothing he can do to hurt you on land. Yeah, unless it's that, that one Junji Ito. Yeah, that pesky Junji Ito shark. <laughs> the legs. <laughs> Junji Ito, you did got you give, me again. Did you give the shark legs, Junji? <laughs> Why'd you do that, Junji? Why? For why? How are we supposed to escape it now? 
Got a shark <laughs> fin on the head. Oh, very so good. Sort of like you think a shark's coming for you, but it's really ocean bad guy. <laughs> Would love that. Which is kind of a relief, honestly. Do you remember when they came out with the like shark themed goggles and flippers that yeah, you could get? I yes. Cool. I remember those. Because then the advertisements were like, your mom's going to think there's a shark in the pool. <laughs> and it's like, she was never going to think that. She's the one who <laughs> bought that. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> she knows better. But she'll pretend if it makes you happy. Yeah. yeah. She and Honey Dad, <laughs> they just want to make sure you're having a, a fun time in the summer. It's got He's got one of those like masks that looks like teeth. Oh, yes. that's fun. Aww. But it's really a it's really a you know scuba mask, as they call them. As they call them in the scuba world, Scooby mask. I'm a big sort of scuba head. Mm-hmm. Uh, I like to go underneath the water. Okay, mm-hmm. where, ten waters. <laughs> um, wow, only ten. <laughs> How do I even limit the waters I know? <laughs> There's salt, salt, uh-huh. fresh. Those are two uh-huh. like really basic ones, though. Brackish. Everyone knows those. Everyone two waters. knows those. Warm, two. cold, shit. Bottled, <laughs> hose. <laughs> Four elephants. Oh my god! <laughs> it took me a moment. Remember that movie? I do, Nathan. <laughs> Nathan, I do. (laughs) That's too many elephants, Nathan. (laughs) (laughs) That movie was about water and four elephants. Yeah, just four elephants (laughs) and some water. (laughs) I think one of them was played by um, the guy from Twilight. (laughs) Yeah, Carlisle was an elephant. Yeah. Yeah. Really disappeared into the role. Evan was another one. He was the big elephant. Yeah. yeah. Jacob was one of them, and Taylor Lautner did the mocap. <laughs> <laughs> he really moved like an elephant. I know. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so he's wearing the mask, but he's... He's fully, he's just got like suspenders on yeah. and then bare <laughs> chest. Yeah, nobody knows what he has going on it sort of is. below oh, that. Oh, that's a fun. It is a look. Yeah, the aesthetic is in the water. And so you don't. The act. water is part of the outfit. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> and so this is like essentially like POV. You've just escaped the ocean bad guy. Oh, you're on land. And he's looking at you like, <laughs> and he's oh. shaking his. He he wouldn't know what to do if he caught you. Yeah, he never catches anyone. <laughs> he just but... wants to. He likes the thrill of the chase. Oh, this has an energy. He likes to put on a show and be like, "Oh, you got away again." <laughs> but you find out later that really he was protecting everyone. Biker gloves, huh? Swimming gloves. Swimming gloves. <laughs> so your hands don't get wet. So your hands don't well, get wet. Well, just the part that the glove can, Your fingers get wet. And the that part at the back where there's also no glove can get wet. But the part that the glove covers, <laughs> still a little wet because that's just, water just gets in there. But not quite as wet. Or maybe just as wet. Ooh. So you just sort of see little hints of. Oh, yeah. You know, what lies beneath. That's good. Very scary stuff. Yeah. I do wonder what lies beneath because it's just, it's, it's, it's a choice. <laughs> <laughs> What's he got attached to the suspenders? You think it's an oxygen tank, but <laughs> down there. I think one of the things about Ocean Bad Guy uh-huh. is that he's not always in the ocean. Oh. And that's like what makes him so scary. Like maybe he's like in like a bog. Like you think you're safe, <laughs> <A> right? <bog. laughs> you go scuba in a bog? You're like, well, you, most people don't. Yeah, uh, I feel like that's But hard. part of being the bad guy of the ocean is, you know, you do what you want. 
all the water eventually reaches the ocean. So he's just claiming oh, all water <laughs> as, as Yeah, ocean. I got some water that I, I keep from the ocean. He just has a bottle of water from the ocean. He'll splash it in any body of water. <laughs> and he's like, this is the ocean now. This is... <laughs> That's how that's how ocean works. You made this. <laughs> I made this. <laughs> this isn't ocean. This is ocean. <laughs> so this is like down on, you know, the bayou. And they were like, no way ocean bad guy can get us here. We're on the bayou where we're safe. It really just looks like he's in the Central Park Pond. <laughs> Maybe he is. He shows up there sometimes too. Yeah. <laughs> to shake his fist. <laughs> he can get out of water to move bodies of water. Well, that's the thing. No <laughs> but, one ever sees him. But then him. once he's in it, he's like, I can't get on land <laughs> to get you. That's what's so curious because he just goes under and then he shows up like in your pool and you're like, how'd you get in there? <laughs> When, and he's like, it's all connected. This, this aesthetic sounds exhausting. Definitely yeah. not connected. Yeah, when he's not in the water, he's not doing the aesthetic. That's how you don't know. The aesthetic know. Yeah. is Shit. this level of submerged. Yes. Half. If, if, more, if more is visible, it's not ocean bad guy anymore. Yeah. It's I'm, just, I'm if finished. less is visible, it's ocean. This is the ocean bad guy <laughs> aesthetic. Huh. If I anyone uses this aesthetic, you owe me money. Yeah, it's only fair. It's only fair. All right, Karina, do you want your prompt? Yes, please. The generator has spoken. Oh, it talks now. <laughs> it would. <laughs> it would like you, me. It's me, the generator. <laughs> I refer to myself as it. <laughs> wow. Hell yeah. It would like you to draw. Night garbage. Ooh. Ooh, night garbage. Garbage in the night? The kinds that raccoons steal. Raking. That's just me whenever I go out at night, you know what I'm saying? Oh, the raccoons steal you? Oh, yeah. The raccoons take me away. We're <laughs> raccoon can't. kin. That's how you get home every night. Can't bring this guy out. I thought out you were a hyena. Without having can't. him swarmed with raccoons. They see me and they're like, now that's trash. <laughs> That's gotta come with us. And yeah. I gotta fight my way out before morning, or else I become Where a raccoon. Where am I going with this? I just started drawing a head. Yeah. But why? Gotta do... have a head in order to have an aesthetic. I guess. That's step Wow, one. that's gatekeeping. Yeah, don't yeah. gatekeep aesthetic for people who don't have heads. The headless I'm, horseman I'm has an aesthetic. Yeah, but he also has a head that he carries with him. Well, it's, a, it's a more of a pumpkin. So if it's, I want to do a raccoon concept. If it's night garbage. What Enjoy your raccoon it? concept. <laughs> Enjoy your raccoon concept. <laughs> I'd, I'd be remiss if I didn't mention the garbage ape from Heathcliff. <laughs> Not <sighs> doing the garbage ape from Heathcliff. No, I mean, you, you, you shouldn't. That, yeah. That's already... But garbage please, ape is different from night garbage. Yeah, please, right yeah. please show the garbage ape on screen. Yeah, yeah, we right love a here, visit right here from the garbage ape, and one right here as a treat. <laughs> <laughs> okay. He shows up a lot, so there should be plenty of of comics to choose from. <laughs> hmm, night garbage. Should I go spooky? Maybe you can have like a fur suit head. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, I like that. But it's one of those like mm, fursuit heads. What does that mean? Most of them are nice, but some of them. Some of them are. Mm. They're like old. Oh, like an old ratty. Not well taken care of. So this is one that was thrown out. Yeah. It's from, from the, the gar garbage. It's from the garbage. What does a raccoon look like? We're going to guess. I left my phone over there, so we're going to guess. Sort of like a If it's a fursona head, they all look the same. They don't. <laughs> <laughs> there are stylistic there's, there's, similarities yeah, yeah, for yeah. sure. Because raccoon kind of have a long, right? They got, they got kind of a snoot. Yeah, yeah, they have like a longer snoot. They got the the triangle cheeks that come out because they're so fluffy. Yeah. yeah, fluffy cheeks. I don't gotta make them fluffy. Can we shut the fuck up outside, please? <laughs> That's the garbage. <laughs> That's trash truck coming to 
Yeah. And say how much and... they love the trash isn't just for night. That's day trash. It's a different aesthetic. <laughs> And just to be clear, this is night like the time, not night like the um Yeah. Like Sir this Garbage. Is night night like the, the time. Okay. Night like the time. This is like when someone gets a little tired and then they turn into a garbage person. And mm-hmm. you're just like, I don't Yeah, and then you put on this. your weird fursuit head. There's a there's something I'm going for. I here. like this fursuit. Head. Yeah. Teeth. Very good. Do fursuit heads have teeth? I think so. This one does. Yeah. It looks like human teeth. I like the idea that they found this fursuit head for like a wolf and then we're like, I'm going to make this into a raccoon. <laughs> it's a raccoon now because <laughs> my persona is a raccoon. I can't wear a wolf <laughs> head. <laughs> this seems like the, the type of person that would be like a local legend. Yeah. They'd be like, if you're out at night, you might see him. You might see the night garbage. You might see the night garbage. <laughs> Do not engage. Yeah. What do you remember do? You remember Tamantha from class one B? <laughs> no one remembers her anymore because the night garbage got her. You it, just wrote a spooky story to tell in the dark. What's that called? Did I say get that right? Scary nope. scary stories. A spooky story. This is a sp- to tell spooky in the dark. scary stories. Scary night story to talk about. What does a raccoon look like? What the hell? I can't remember what a raccoon looks like. They have like. little it's ears. This. They got, like, yeah. little, they got little, little triangular little ears. Little cat ears. Like that. Sure. Like that little? Yeah. Okay. I'm just thinking about that one raccoon that is in his like little hole or whatever, and someone holds up a little piece of food, and he looks really hesitant to take it, and he's really stretching, and then the second he touches it, those little ears come forward, and it's very cute. Aww. Yeah, he's, he's got like, his oh. tiny little hands, little grabby hands. Yeah. Little hair. Did I ever tell you guys about the time I saw a raccoon just sort of walk in on a wire outside my apartment? Oh my god! Oh goodness! You're so lucky. At, at first, I was like, "That's a big cat," <laughs> <laughs> and then I was like, "Oh, that's a raccoon." I saw a raccoon by my parents' house that came out of the sewer. <laughs> It just came yeah. out of the sewer and looked at us and we we're like, "Was it night garbage?" Cool. <gasps> was it this, they look like this a little bit. Might I have saw, been night garbage. I saw a raccoon in Brooklyn that crossed the street at the crosswalk <laughs> at like <laughs> two a.m. <laughs> I and like raccoons. It was the most New York thing because there were like people also crossing the street and none, <laughs> of, none of them even like looked at it. Yeah, yeah. They were just like, "Listen, okay. probably not." The weirdest thing any of them had seen. Like that day. That, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Already so tired from the day's experiences that yeah. they couldn't react to the raccoon. If you're walking home at 2 a.m., it's it's not, you're not going to react to that. No. Yeah. We'll all respect the raccoon if the raccoon respects us. Yeah. And you know what it did? I think they're wearing like, what's their... It, it, it's they just put it on. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's sort of angled down yeah. a little bit. Yeah, this is very threatening. We don't know what they look like under the night garbage mask. Right. Yeah. The night garbage fully takes over. Yeah, it's aesthetic. like a it's like a curse. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's an aesthetic oh. and a curse. So maybe like the person changes. It's whoever dons the mask, like in Jim Carrey's The Mask. <laughs> it's like The Mask, starring Jim Carrey. Yeah. Star of The Mask. Is this Jim Carrey? It could be. It could it be. We don't anyone. know. Jimothy Carrey? Jimothy. <laughs> Jimothy. You in there? Hey, Jimothy. How you doing? Is this your new mask? <laughs> like in Mask? <laughs> the movie you starred in? Yeah. The Jim Carrey movie that you were the star of, Jim Carrey? <laughs> I imagine the rest of the outfit is kind of just like, you know, whatever you wear. At <laughs> night. When you're doing like a snack run really late at night. Yeah. And you're like, I'm not getting dressed up for this. We're going out in my house clothes. You're going to the bodega because it's the only thing that's open. Yeah. I will mention that Shrink. <laughs> we're recording this Shrink. on a very hot day and just looking at this sweater is making me hot. Yeah. Mm. It's like, how could you be wearing that when it's this hot? But Night to garbage. them, it could be Night anytime. garbage doesn't feel. 
<laughs> it's it's cooler at night. Yeah, it's cooler at night. It's cooler yeah, in the garbage. Yeah, they're just wearing like they just have like boxers. Oh, oh nice. also, this could be implying that they put on the mask like a long time ago. <laughs> like yeah. they put it on in the fall, <laughs> and they've been stuck in there. Yeah. Oh yeah, because you can't really easily take a sweater. This is a, a pullover. Yeah. It's, gonna, it's gonna be hard to take that off over the the mask. It's all ratty. Yeah, because they have to fulfill whatever the night garbage wants of them before you they're the pause. allowed to be free. It's not ratty. once you put on. It's raccoony. Oh yeah. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> I liked it. I could tell Julia by the deathly silence you responded to it with. I had a cat getting off of my lap. It's just a lot going on. There's a lot happening. Well, I, I think it's it's like a curse, this aesthetic. Yeah. Yeah. So once you put on the, the head that you find in the garbage at night, then like your hands turn into pods. <laughs> It's it's a body horror situation. Those okay, are, so those, those are, are not, flesh. Those aren't gloves. That's yeah. This yeah let me your... let me clarify. Yeah, my aesthetic is kind of a curse. Yeah. <laughs> um, you might I say didn't that choose it. it. It chose me. It chose me, and I wish it would go away. <laughs> and I haven't found a way to get rid of it yet. Anyway, um, the further up the arm, yeah, just go, the slim the gyms. scarier it looks. And also, uh, your blood. And also. Have a little of your blood? No? Okay. Well, I am going to take some. <laughs> <laughs> sort of a night garbage thing. Yeah. Got to feed on the blood. Night garbage is cool. Don't get me wrong, but they are cursed. Yeah. And we don't know their real identity. This also feels like a DJ. DJ <laughs> night garbage. DJ night garbage. <laughs> All of their songs are about how they wish they weren't cursed. <laughs> 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 this, so cool. This next one is called <laughs> Please Help Me Find a Cure to Get This Mask Off My Head. And everyone's like, wow, that's so what does it mean? <laughs> <laughs> it's a metaphor. Yeah. Yeah. They this just... is like my high concept VTuber, actually. <laughs> <laughs> Night garbage, the cursed DJ. <laughs> <laughs> I'd watch them play some games. Yeah. Yeah, why not? Yeah. They don't talk. <laughs> Except sometimes you'll hear them whisper like, help. <laughs> <laughs> it's been four years. <laughs> Mostly you just hear the clicking of the buttons on yeah. the controller. <laughs> I miss my family. He does have a hooked up <laughs> mic. He just doesn't speak. <laughs> yeah, I mean, his frame rate's great. Yeah, let's get that headset in there. <laughs> Night garbage is a VTuber thing. Nobody take this idea. <laughs> it's and if hours. you do, you owe me a lot of money. And blood. And blood. Everyone's going to owe us so much money for yeah. this episode. Yeah. Have yeah. you considered? <laughs> Says DJ. That's how you know. <laughs> yeah. Someone wrote that on this shirt. He can't, they can't change clothes, so. Yeah, this really feels like, you know, it was some teen that had poor fashion sense and like made a wish to have an aesthetic and didn't <laughs> read the fine print. <laughs> Wished on a monkey paw. <laughs> a, a raccoon, raccoon paw. A raccoon I guess it's kind of weird that, that they, they have like, Big meaty paws. I just didn't feel like drawing a hand because raccoons have like little people hands. But here, just pretend the fingers are like. Yeah. yeah. Okay, I fixed it. You fixed it. <laughs> I'm amazing. a genius. <laughs> Actually, that one doesn't look that good. <laughs> the thumbs are meaty. Thumbs can be meaty. Yeah. They're kind of stubby. DJ guys. Night Ga. <laughs> night garbage. Okay. I got I got distracted thinking about raccoon hands. I'm a fan. They're very good. Yeah, yeah. just got little hands. Got little people hands to clean the food with. Yeah. I've never seen a raccoon in New York, but there was one time back at my parents' house where me and my friends were just hanging out in the backyard, and I looked up, and there was a line of critters just walking through the back of the yard that was like, it went like cat, possum, raccoon. And it was so exciting to me. <laughs> a little parade. That's yeah. really musical. I yeah. love that. Three, three at once. You think they were filming like a Disney movie or something? <laughs> they were And they didn't tell me? <laughs> <laughs> and they didn't ask our permission? 
They're animals. Okay. You can't just do that, Disney. Let's get some splatters. Splatters. It's just, I'm just going to, this is what my background is going to look like. It's It's in an alleyway. In post. Yeah, in post. We're not doing the whole thing now. It's nice. Absolutely not. Yeah, the moon. The moon. A beautiful crescent moon. <laughs> the moon exists. <laughs> <laughs> the moon. That's how you know yeah. it's night. It's just there will be, and then there will be garbage. It's, it's just, you know, it's it's my stock alleyway for any time I need. I absolutely must do a background to complete a scene. Fine. Yeah. Here you go. Are you happy? <laughs> Are you happy, night garbage? <laughs> this is for you. Now you look spooky. Yeah. You always look spooky. Well, you look spookier now. <laughs> <laughs> it's, Putting him it's in part context, of the aesthetic. It made him real. Yeah. Now, this is any alleyway. I'll fix it in post. Post. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, you know. Good. Yeah, there we go. There's night garbage. Night garbage. Yeah. Heck yeah. The it's not aesthetic. so much an aesthetic as a lifestyle. Because yeah. once you are cursed, that's the rest of your life, baby. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Julia. Yeah. You must create the final aesthetic. Okay. The aesthetic to out aesthetic. All aesthetics. Okay. And yours is Crab Priest. Oh crab my God. Priest. Crab Clickety Priest. Clickety Clack. Priest. Everyone watching, clack your claws now. All right. Clack, clack, clack. Clack, 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 yeah. By nature of their aesthetics, they must interact occasionally. Yeah. yeah. Every so often, you know, the, there's they only so many choice. nautical aesthetics. They're gonna <laughs> they're gonna bump into each the other. The ocean is notoriously small. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Very easy to run into each yeah. other. I mean, sure. Using ocean bad guys rules. <laughs> any water can be ocean. And any water can be small. And any water can have crab. Yes. And any crab can be a priest. <laughs> yeah. They're just fighting because <laughs> ocean bad guy will like put some of the ocean water in a pond and be like, this is my water now. But then crab <laughs> priest comes up and puts a crab in the pond. <laughs> it's like, nah. This looks like my water to me. Yeah, there's, there's, a, crab a, there's here. a crab. Okay, so I need little like crab tokens. Ocean bad guy shakes his fist. <laughs> oh, you. Foiled again. <laughs> Maybe Ocean Bad Guy's not so bad. He makes everyone feel like they've gotten a victory. <laughs> yeah. He's good in a special way. Yeah, in a special way. In a really unique way. I have to circle back to crab tokens. Yeah. What? Well, because well, you said that goes that goes and puts a crab in in the waters to claim it as crab. <laughs> They're not even real crabs. They're just like... <laughs> <laughs> a crab token. That's no, the currency. Now, Julia, is this just a crab? Is this just a yeah? That was my next question. Is this a person or is this a crab? It's a, it's a crab. Okay. Okay. So oh, this, so this is an aesthetic for crabs. This is an aesthetic for crabs who are particularly into religion. Yeah. A well, religious. We, we can't communicate with the crab, <laughs> but we can define aesthetics that we notice yeah based crabs. on our knowledge but we don't know like what the crab thinks it is like, well, you ever cause... you ever see a crab and you just think no that's <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> never mind what now Nathan? no keep going <laughs> oh you know what it should be <laughs> what should it be i'm starting over no more crabs. what <laughs> that crab Died. Done. <laughs> that crab died. Um, F's in the chat <laughs> for that poor dead crab. I was really scrambling for ideas, but I feel like the ultimate crab crab priest. That was a prompt, right? Yes. Yeah. Crab priest. Yeah. I feel like the ultimate crab priest has to be the oldest of the crabs, the horseshoe crab. 
Oh. I love me a horseshoe crab. A primordial crab. So it is still just a crab. Yeah. Okay. So you erased a crab to draw a crab. A different, a different crab. crab. A completely different shaped crab. Yes. I feel like horseshoe crabs shouldn't even be called crabs. They should be called something else. Like what? Like what? Like a what Roombas of the sea. Yeah, or like a <laughs> ocean beetle. They look like big nasty buggos. So do crabs. But crabs have that crabby look about them. When you see a horseshoe crab, you're telling me you think that looks like a crab. It's called a crab. I think it's. I think it looks like a horseshoe yeah. crab. I'm not the. You know, I'm not the guy who comes up with the names. No, listen to me. Okay. I want you to imagine something. Okay. If you had never seen any animals before, and oh, someone what a horrible existence. <laughs> but I've seen be. animals before. But imagine. Okay. Enter there's the imagine right in this room. That one. Doesn't... I guess you could argue there's multiple. Yeah. Do do humans count as yeah. animals? Yeah. I've. Are there mirrors in this scenario? Okay. Hold on. Imagine you've seen animals before, but you've never seen a crab. Okay. And then you're shown a crab, like a normal crab with the orange and the claws that you consider when you think about crabs. Does mm -hmm. Mr. Krabs from SpongeBob count as seeing a crab? Yeah, does no. Mr. Krabs? No. Okay, so we. So, so no SpongeBob in this scenario. No. It doesn't exist. Wait, so. <laughs> But it doesn't count. So that means, can we have seen SpongeBob before seeing a real crab? And we just think that's like a crazy character. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder how they came up with that guy. SpongeBob doesn't exist. SpongeBob doesn't exist. Then what's world. the most popular show on Nickelodeon? Yeah. What? Do, how do people like repeat back SpongeBob thing that someone says online sarcastically? Yeah. SpongeBob exists, but Mr. Krabs isn't in it. <laughs> but then where does SpongeBob work? Yeah, where does he work? He, he still works, works for Squidward. Yeah, he works for Squidward. So Squidward owns the Krusty Krab. Is it called the Krusty Krab <laughs> <No>. still? <laughs> What's it called? It's called then? the Squeaky Squidward. <laughs> okay. And Squidward owns it. Is it still a fast food restaurant? Yeah, no, what are they? It's, what? it's fine dining okay. establishment where Squidward plays his clarinet. Every night. For okay, but SpongeBob is still a fry cook. Is he a Sponge fried no, cook? No, SpongeBob or? is the maitre d. Oh, oh, of the squeaky Squidward. So is SpongeBob like fundamentally different in <laughs> yeah. this scenario? In, in this is universe, he... <laughs> SpongeBob is fundamentally different. Is he good at? Yeah, is he good then, at being a maitre d? He's really excited, but that makes him make a lot of mistakes. Okay, I worry that SpongeBob in this scenario lacks the charm of the real SpongeBob. Well, the show isn't as popular in this reality. It's for adults. So in this one, SpongeBob is just like sad and broken by the work system. Oh, you I know? don't like that. SpongeBob. Then how but is it's this still on funny. Nickelodeon? It's it should like be on Nick Jack. at Night. Is it on Nick at Night? Or is it a Netflix isn't exclusive? Isn't that the one that has like I Love Lucy or whatever? <laughs> Nick at Night? Nick, Nick, Nick at, at Night. Night. I Love Lucy doesn't exist in this universe. Why? Why? Is she a crab? Oh my god, is Lucy no, oh, really a crab? She's Lucille a crab Ball in this one. Is no, a crab no, in this wait, universe. Are we crabs? It's just because when you change universes, there's bound to be some unintended consequences. Okay. And this okay. was one of them for this universe. So oh. what was like where you had never seen a crab before? What was the sitcom that like replaced I Love Lucy? Because that was sort of like well, a it was a, all about Ricky now. Okay, so it's just it's, it's, it's just called Ricky. <laughs> it's, it's it was called hey Everybody there. Loves Ricky. Yeah. No, that's that wasn't it. That's Everybody Loves. Wait, Raymond I have a question about. about this scenario. This one was called Hey There, Ricky. Hey There, Ricky. Hello. Yes. Green. My astrological sign is Cancer, which is a crab. What is it now? Um, Shrimp. Dancer. Dancer. The yeah. reindeer. It's the reindeer. From it's the Christmas. reindeer. It's still a water sign. <laughs> yeah, a wet reindeer. Nice. Okay, so now that you've imagined all that, yeah, <laughs> imagine you were shown a crab. You want me to imagine more after I've already done this entire <laughs> well, this thought exercise? I'm this still was... erasing all I Love Lucy episodes from my brain. Yeah. <laughs> this is just scene setting. It's still loading. We got to get to the important part now. The what? Imagine you were shown a crab. Imagine by there's whom? Yeah, no who's crab. showing me the crab? A scientist. And do, the scientist which said, scientists? do crabs exist in this world? We, yeah. we just haven't seen them? Yeah, you just haven't seen them. Okay. How do they exist in the world, but not in SpongeBob? It's complicated. It's, it's just, that's just Are different. they a secret? They were just discovered. Oh, and, they just found out. Okay, you're the scientist, and you just <laughs> discovered the crab, and you said- Why am I a scientist in this Imagine universe? you're a scientist. It's because you, crabs don't yeah. exist. It's because there wasn't 
SpongeBob wasn't as good, and so it didn't distract me from my schoolwork, <laughs> and so I was able to really focus on science. Yeah. So we're all scientist. scientists. We're all scientists, and we just discovered crabs. Okay. And we're like, these ones are crabs. We're calling them. We're crabs. calling those crabs. And then the next day, we go back out into uh, uh, into the sea, into the science, and we expedition. see what what is known today as a horseshoe crab. Uh huh. Right. But if we just saw a crab yesterday and called that a crab, and then the next day we saw a horseshoe crab, there's no way I would label that the same thing as the other thing I well, saw. Well, I wouldn't have the word crab, so maybe a horseshoe crab would be a crab. Yeah. I just told you we called it crab. We called the why first one. Why did we call it a crab? Yeah, why did we call it that? It felt right. I don't so know about horseshoe that. crabs are crabs? So horseshoe crab. So, For, you, so you're horseshoe say, crabs you're saying are crabs. calling a crab a crab the first time you see it feels right. But no. you don't. But you don't think it should feel right to call a horseshoe crab a horseshoe crab. No. Even though it kind of what Julia is drawn looks like the underside of a crab. Yeah. With sort of a horseshoe shape. Yeah, because it has those crab abs over top of it. I feel like I'm being persecuted <laughs> for my beliefs. For your As, crab beliefs, much much for like the crab, crab priest. Yeah. I feel Are you? Like... <gasps> it's you, Jake, the I crab was... priest. All right, time to delete the whole drawing. <laughs> Julia we'll just no! drew a horseshoe crab. <laughs> Julia, it's just a horseshoe crab. <laughs> no, it's got the priest collar. Oh, is that okay. a belt? Oh. Yeah, it's got, it's got a collar. <laughs> it's a chastity belt. <laughs> yeah. This horseshoe crab will not have sex until no, marriage. Is it like a <laughs> like a belt? That was a fun thought exercise, Jacob. We should do more of those. I found it really confusing. Well, I, you kind of lost the thread with me when you told me that SpongeBob was like an adult cartoon. That did I make thought me that sad. was weird. I think the important thing to remember is that at the end of it, everyone saw my point and agreed with me yeah. fully. I so, didn't agree with you. <laughs> what's a Krabby Patty? Yeah. Well, they don't do those. Okay, then what do they it's do? It's fine dining. Yeah. So they do squiddy diddlies. <laughs> oh. Squid squiddly diddlies. <laughs> They're kind of like chicken nuggets. Okay, but that but that's fine dining in the SpongeBob well, universe. It's, it's elevated comfort. Then food. does that mean that Squidward <laughs> and Plankton are enemies? Yes. Plank Plankton is not in the show. Plankton Why not? Is, like, Plankton's in a do, different show. Do Plankton's different not show. Exist What's, wait, what show is Plankton in? Plankton's in Rugrats now. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, so did a character from Rugrats replace Plankton in SpongeBob? Or no, Plankton's a, just added. So who's the who runs the Chum Bucket? The what? The Chum Bucket. The Chum Bucket, Plankton's restaurant in SpongeBob. Who? You can't turn the thought experiment against us, Jacob. Well, I, I sorry, I got confused because that's not what it is. Okay, what okay, is then it? what is it? Because Sandy runs that. Sandy restaurant. is Squidward's business rival, and she this... serves terrestrial food to the sea creatures. So but like, it'll get wet. Not well, the way she does. No, because she everything Sandy does is in those little like air pods. Yeah. And how can she feed Sandy it puts to in the her fish pods. people? They come out in the air to eat it, and then they go back in the water. How do they eat it in the air when they need to be in the water? Well, they wear their little water bowl head. Then how yeah. do they put the food in their mouth? They they stretch their mouth out. Yeah, they stretch go, their mouth out. You know how Sponge... I'm, I'm making a... You can't see it on the in the show. <laughs> but I'm... Because they, they're cartoons, so they can like... Stre they do like a big like... Like a big ooh face. <laughs> out of the top of their water bowl that they're wearing. I'm glad that these bits have been funny because I've had no idea what to do for this. You're just drawing a horseshoe crab. You're drawing. Yeah, like it a, is beautiful. Yeah, a lovely. I'm very excited to see your. I kind of came up with like a horseshoe crab deity instead. <laughs> yeah. With a Maybe, chastity belt. With a chastity belt. Maybe it's like one of those pharaoh situations, you know? A sort of a god king. Yeah. Yeah. So the aesthetic is it just wears a collar. And it glows. And it glows and floats. Yeah, and it's a horseshoe crab. Everything floats underwater, Nathan. Not horseshoe crabs. They can. They usually, yeah, I guess that's they true. They usually scuttle. But this one is floating. Can't you tell? I can tell. So this is underwater? <laughs> I'm a scientist. <laughs> no, uh, you're not. Yeah. That was a thought exercise. They're I, all looking up at him. I'm lost Whoa. in it. Okay, so all the regular crabs are worshiping this one horseshoe crab. Yeah. Yeah. And that's the aesthetic. It, yeah. I, I love, love this that. SpongeBob reboot. It's 
The aesthetic is praising the horseshoe crab. Is anyone who who loves the horseshoe crab? You know, I really thought you were going to draw a priest that had crab sort of accoutrement. I lost all brain function. But you drew a full crab. So fast. A full horseshoe crab. I, mean, I went to a This full was a panic. collective. Yeah, to be oopsie. fair, we didn't help. Yeah, we at went all. on we were an doing extreme a, tangent. We were doing like a, a whole radio play <laughs> over here. I mean, Very to, immersive. To be fair, when I brought it up, I thought we were going to go even more in depth than we did. Oh. Did so you? I feel like we really didn't get to the bottom of what I was trying to get at. Okay. Well, what what was left bottom? unturned? Which Horseshoe stones? Horseshoe crabs are bottom feeders. So Horseshoe crabs are bottoms. <laughs> 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 this is the gospel that this crab is preaching. Good night, everybody. <laughs> oh, I am a bottom. Oh, I'm so excited. It has been decreed. It has been decreed by the crab priest. Julia's going to open this in like a month and render it and be like, why did I do why this? Why did I write this? I'm going to make it look like one of those um, like Bible illustrations. Yes. Like an illuminated manuscript. Jesus drew this. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like none a of, bunch of monks made it. None of his disciples wanted to put this in the final draft. <laughs> <laughs> they were like, Jesus, I just don't think this. Yeah. We can't find a place for it. Yeah. It doesn't really fit in the whole creation mythos. <laughs> Yeah, Jesus <laughs> left and went to heaven and all the disciples got together and were like, we all agree that we're going to we're going to make <laughs> yeah. some edits. We didn't really get that part with yeah. the horseshoe crab. Yeah. I swear to God, I swear to God that God did not decree <laughs> that on the 8th day a horseshoe crab ascended and said it was a bottom. Yeah. <laughs> it declared itself a bottom. I feel like it's missing the message a bit. We can probably cut that part. That's all that happened. I'm on not the even day. sure what that means. We would guys. have had 8 day weeks. <laughs> and God created the horseshoe crab <laughs> who was a bottom. Who was a bottom. Yeah. I need to leave this drawing. <laughs> yeah. I like it. We should Thank stop you. doing the episode now, I think. Yeah. Okay. I think we should stop yeah. doing episodes. I have, I have <laughs> questions about like what sort of role Plankton plays on the Rugrats, but we can talk about yeah. that. Yeah. I'll, I'll we take can any questions off line. camera. Yeah. Um, aesthetics. Yes. We, we definitely made them. Yep. This time. <laughs> yep. <laughs> but... The Spinga. <laughs> um, if you've got a suggestion of uh, stuff you want to see us do episodes about, um, allegedly, and then go on long tangents about other stuff, leave it in the comments. Uh, maybe we'll pick it. If you like what we make, you can support us on Patreon. Hit the bell. Like, subscribe. Uh, we got a store. Uh, you can buy that good merch. And uh, we stream on Twitch. People are always like, I didn't know you streamed on Twitch, but we say it. So you <laughs> you can know. I believe in you. It's on you now. Uh, every Monday, 7 p.m. Eastern time. We're sorry. 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 <laughs>